This training video provides the overview and installation steps for the Avigilon H6A dual head camera. The two sensors in one camera increase the visibility of blind spots, making this camera an ideal solution for hallways, stairwells, corner intersections, and entry and exit points. The camera may be installed in various environments for maximum versatility. This training video will overview the steps for the surface mount. For more information regarding other installation options, refer to the installation guide. Reviewing the supplementary videos is recommended before installation of the camera. The supplementary videos cover topics related to video analytic cameras, such as pre-deployment and in-box configuration, how to use grommets, mounting and aiming, configuring onboard storage, and resetting to factory default settings. Before installation, review the mounting and aiming recommendations for optimal installation. Verify the package contains the Avigilon H6A dual head camera, a mounting plate adapter, a surface mounting template sticker, a star-shaped screwdriver, a wall mounting kit, a rubber grommet, an RJ45 grommet piercing cap, and a quick start guide. For alternative mounting options, please be aware that the package may vary and should be purchased separately. Ensure access to a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a power drill, a measuring tape, a silicone sealant, and a ladder, which are necessary to complete the installation. These tools are not included in the package. Before installation, please consult the installation guide. The guide provides essential safety information, warnings, notices, and precautions. Ensure the camera package is intact and there are no signs that the camera has been dropped or scratched. This camera can be pre-configured in its shipping box. To pre-configure the camera without unpacking the box, access the RJ45 port through the flap on the outside of the box. For more information, refer to the supplementary video or the camera's installation guide. Be careful when handling the camera after configuring it inside the packaging. It may be hot when handled or removed from the packaging immediately after inbox configuration. Next, unpack the camera from the package. Remove the cover by loosening the screws that fix the cover to the base. Use the provided star-shaped screwdriver to loosen the screws. Be careful not to scratch or touch the dome bubble. The resulting marks or fingerprints may affect the overall image quality. Keep the protective covers on the outside of the dome bubble until the installation is complete. Then, lift the cover off the camera base and set it aside. Unplug and remove the RJ45 inbox configuration cable pre-installed on the camera. The next segment demonstrates steps for mounting the camera directly to the surface, or if the cables come from inside the mounting surface. Use this procedure on surfaces easily drilled into, and when the cables should be kept out of sight. First, use the mounting template to drill the mounting holes and one cable entry hole into the mounting surface. The mounting template can then be discarded. Next, insert the anchors into the mounting holes. Pull the required cables through the mounting surface and the cable entry hole in the mounting plate adapter. Let's take a closer look at the mounting plate adapter. Secure the mounting plate adapter to the mounting surface using the provided self-tapping screws. The following section is similar for all mounting options. For specific mounts, please refer to the installation guide. Unless specified otherwise, pull the required cables through the provided sealing grommet when using a cable entry hole. Next, push any other required cables through the grommet. If multiple cables are pulled through the sealing grommet, silicone sealant should be applied to seal any gaps in the grommet. For more information on inserting the cables through the sealing grommet, see the installation guide or supplementary video. If using the optional junction box, first install the junction box mounting adapter onto the mounting surface. Next, let's take a closer look at the camera base.
push the rubber sealing grommet with the required cables into the cable entry hole on the camera base. The thread around the grommet should line up with the cable entry hole on the camera base to create a tight seal. Use the star-shaped screwdriver to tighten the four captive screws and secure the camera to the mounting plate adapter. If using the optional junction box, use the star-shaped screwdriver to secure the camera base into the junction box with the four captive screws in the camera base. The next segment overviews connecting the cables to the camera base. If the camera is connected to external devices, connect the I.O. or audio cables to the I.O. connector block. Connect a network cable to the camera's Ethernet port. Once a network link has been established, the link LED indicator will turn on. Connect the power using power over Ethernet, class 3 or class 4. If PoE is available, the LEDs will turn on. Check that the connection status LED indicator indicates the correct state. For more information, see the installation guide. The following segment overviews aiming the camera. Reference the camera's live stream to aim the camera. Release the latch to unlock the camera head for panning, tilting, and azimuth rotation. Rotate the azimuth control ring to set the image in the correct rotation. Pan and tilt the camera head to capture the desired field of view. When using the built-in IR illuminators, a Vigilon recommends that the tilt angle is not set to be shallower than 30 degrees above the horizon. This will reduce IR reflection off surfaces near the camera, such as walls or ceilings. When the camera lens is in the desired position, lock the latch back into position. Adjust the camera's image and display settings in the camera web browser interface to achieve the desired image parameters and position. See the installation guide or supplementary video for more information on aiming the camera. Next, let's take a closer look at the camera cover. Be careful not to touch or scratch the dome bubbles. Any marks or fingerprints on the dome bubbles may cause unwanted reflections from the IR illuminators. Before installation, remove the plastic covers on the inside of the dome bubbles. It is also recommended that you connect to the camera and adjust the aim, zoom, and focus so that the camera covers the required field of view. To begin, attach the lanyard to the dome cover. Attach the cover to the base and tighten the screws with the star-shaped screwdriver. If the optional weather shield accessory is installed, only install the two screws, shown here. Slightly unscrew the two top captive screws. Then, using the optional screw holder, unscrew the captive screws from the camera cover. The weather shield is recommended for use in bright outdoor settings. To install the weather shield, follow these steps. Place the weather shield on the camera to align the mounting holes. Next, align the mounting screws to the mounting holes. Then tighten the screws with the star-shaped screwdriver. Remove the plastic covers on the outside of the dome bubbles. For specific instructions on initializing a camera username and password, assigning an IP address, and accessing the live video stream, see the installation guide. Once the dome cover is installed, adjust the zoom and focus to accommodate the focus shift caused by the dome bubble. In the camera web browser interface, Use the camera's image and display settings to zoom and focus the camera. Use the zoom buttons to zoom the camera in or out. Click Auto Focus to focus the lens. Use the Focus Near and Far buttons to manually adjust the focus. The next segment overviews enabling and configuring the optional microphone. The microphone switch is located here. Note that it is set to off by default. Slide the switch from the default off position to on to enable the microphone. Enabling the microphone before installing the camera is recommended. Configure the microphone or line level audio input from the camera web interface or the Unity Video or ACC client software. In the camera web interface, the microphones are configured from the audio page. Adjust the microphone volume by changing the gain. For internal mic, configure the gain for the microphone that is built into the camera. 
For external input, configure the gain for any line level audio input that is connected to the audio input connector on the I.O. terminal block. The installation guide provides more information on configuring the microphone from the camera web interface, Unity Video Client, or ACC Client software. The next segment overviews configuring micro SD card storage. The micro SD card slots are highlighted here. The slots accept up to two micro SD cards for onboard storage. Insert a micro SD card into the slot to use the camera's optional onboard storage feature. Currently, the camera only supports a single micro SD card in either slot for onboard storage. It is recommended that the micro SD card have a write speed class of 10 or better. If the micro SD card does not meet the recommended write speed, the recording performance may suffer, resulting in the loss of frames or footage. To begin, insert a micro SD card into the camera. Do not force the micro SD card into the camera, or the card and the camera may be damaged. The micro SD card can only be inserted in one direction. Next, access the camera's web interface to enable the onboard storage feature. See the installation guide or supplementary videos for more information on configuring micro SD card storage or the camera. The next segment overviews resetting the camera to factory default settings. If the device no longer functions as expected, reset the device to factory default settings. Use the firmware revert button to reset the device. Ensure the device is powered on. Gently press and hold the firmware revert button using a straightened paper clip or similar tool. Release the button after three seconds. Do not apply excessive force. Inserting the tool too far may damage the camera. For further information on resetting the camera, reference the installation guide. This completes the overview and installation steps for the Avigilon H6A dual-head camera.